Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. Welcome everyone, today we delve into the fascinating world of retirement programs in Malaysia, particularly Sarawak MM2H and Sabah MM2H. Malaysia, My Second Home or MM2H as it's commonly known, is a unique program that invites foreign nationals to make Malaysia their home in their golden years. This initiative aims to attract individuals who can contribute to the local economy while enjoying the high standard of living this beautiful country has to offer. Within this program, there are two prominent schemes, Sarawak MM2H and Sabah MM2H. These are not just two different names, but they represent two distinct programs within the same country, each with its unique benefits. Whether it's the affordability of Sarawak or the allure of Sabah, these programs are tailored to fit a variety of lifestyle preferences and financial capabilities. The choice between Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs depends largely on one's personal lifestyle preferences and financial capabilities, but rest assured, both are designed to offer a comfortable and fulfilling retirement. Now let's dive into the specifics of these two intriguing programs. First up is the Sarawak MM2H program. This program is a wonderful opportunity for those seeking a comfortable retirement in the beautiful state of Sarawak, Malaysia. The Sarawak MM2H program has certain eligibility criteria and financial requirements that applicants need to meet. Let's delve into these. To begin with, the eligibility criteria. The program is open to individuals from all around the globe, making it a truly international retirement option. But of course, certain conditions apply. Applicants must be in good health and have a clean criminal record. The Malaysian government wants to ensure that those who choose to retire in Sarawak are able to contribute positively to the community and enjoy a high quality of life. Moving on to the financial requirements. One of the main attractions of the Sarawak MM2H program is its affordability. It demands a lower fixed deposit compared to other retirement programs, which is MYR 150,000 for individual and MYR 300,000 for couple. This means that you don't need to break the bank to secure your spot in this tropical paradise. Also, the property purchase requirement in Sarawak is lower compared to Sabah. An approved participant is allowed to purchase a residential house in Sarawak at a minimum price of MYR 600,000 per unit for Kuching and MYR 500,000 per unit for other divisions. This is a major advantage for those who dream of owning a home in a place that offers a unique blend of culture, nature, and modern amenities. With lower upfront costs, the Sarawak MM2H program allows you to make the most of your retirement savings and live comfortably. But affordability isn't the only thing that makes the Sarawak MM2H program stand out. It's also about the quality of life it offers. Imagine living in a state that's rich in culture, covered in lush greenery, and home to a warm and welcoming community. That's the beauty of Sarawak. So if affordability is your priority, Sarawak MM2H may be your preferred choice. But remember, it's not just about the money. It's also about finding a place where you can truly enjoy your golden years. So take your time, do your research, and choose the retirement program that suits your lifestyle best. Next, we explore the Sabah MM2H program. Now let's shift our focus to the Sabah MM2H program. This program, like its Sarawak counterpart, is aimed at attracting individuals who can contribute to the local economy while enjoying the high quality of life that Malaysia has to offer. However, the financial requirements and eligibility criteria for this program are quite different. Let's start with the eligibility criteria. To qualify for the Sabah MM2H program, applicants must meet certain age and financial conditions. These requirements are in place to ensure that the applicants are capable of sustaining a comfortable lifestyle in Malaysia without needing employment. Now on to the financial requirements. The Sabah MM2H program demands a higher fixed deposit compared to the Sarawak program. Datuk Christina Liu, who is the Culture and Environment Minister of Sabah, stated that a fixed deposit of MYR 200,000 in a Malaysian bank would be among the requirement, but she did not mention whether the minimum amounts would vary based on the size of the family. This might seem daunting at first, but it's important to remember that this deposit is not a fee, but a demonstration of your financial ability to live in Malaysia. In addition to the deposit, the Saba MM2H program also requires a higher property purchase amount. 
participant allowed to purchase apartments in Sabah, but they will need to spend a minimum of MYR 600,000. This ensures that participants in the program are invested in the community and the local economy. It's clear that the Sabah MM2H program is a bit more demanding in terms of financial requirements. This might make it seem less accessible than the Sarawak program, but it's important to consider that these requirements are in place to ensure that the participants can enjoy a comfortable lifestyle in Malaysia. For those who can afford a bit more upfront, the Sabah MM2H program might be more appealing. Now that we've looked at both programs, let's compare them side by side. When it comes to the Sarawak and Sabah MM2H retirement programs, there are a few key differences to keep in mind. Let's start with the financial requirements. Sarawak's program is more affordable upfront, requiring a lower fixed deposit and property purchase amount compared to Sabah's. This makes Sarawak an appealing option for those who may be more budget conscious. However, it's crucial to remember that both programs have their unique benefits. Sabah, for instance, might have higher financial requirements but it also offers its own set of advantages that may be attractive to certain individuals. In terms of lifestyle, both Sarawak and Sabah offer a high quality of life. You can enjoy the rich culture, lush landscapes, and warm hospitality that Malaysia is known for. Whether you prefer the serene rainforests and diverse wildlife of Sarawak, or the stunning beaches and vibrant city life in Sabah, there's something for everyone. The underlying aim of both the Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs is to attract individuals who can contribute to the local economy. This could be through investment, spending, or even sharing your skills and knowledge with the local community. It's about creating a symbiotic relationship where you get to enjoy the benefits of living in a beautiful country like Malaysia, while also giving back to the community. So how do you choose between the Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs? Well, it really comes down to your personal lifestyle preferences and financial capabilities. It's about finding the program that aligns best with what you're looking for in your retirement years. Ultimately, your choice between Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs depends on your personal lifestyle preferences and financial capabilities. We hope this comparison has given you a clearer picture of the Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs. From the unique eligibility criteria to the various financial requirements, each program offers its own distinct advantages. Sarawak's program, with its lower fixed deposit and property purchase amount, makes it a more affordable option up front. Sabah's program, on the other hand, might demand a higher investment, but it certainly presents its own set of benefits. Remember, both these programs are designed with the aim of attracting individuals who can contribute to the local economy while enjoying a high quality of life in Malaysia. Ultimately, the choice between the Sarawak and Sabah MM2H programs isn't just about picking one over the other, it's about assessing your personal lifestyle preferences and financial capabilities and finding the program that fits you best. For more detailed information and to explore these programs further, we invite you to visit our website at officialm2h.com. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting content. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.